YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood chef Shatry here. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about my rant video that I made here last week, and I got some pretty good feedback from it. I do have to say that uh, you know guys are seeing my point of view on things, but I did hear it through the grapevine a little bit, or hear it through from the person that said, uh, you know, guys are watching my video. We're feeling that I'm uh, trying to tell them not to buy Snap-on tools or not to go in tool truck. Tool trucks. I did not say that. I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to insinuate that you should not go on a tool truck. I didn't say that. I said start out with some cheap tools and work your way up to the more expensive tools if you wanted to. Me, in my case, I have not been allowed to do that. When I first when I first started working in the shop here, and I didn't necessarily really buy any tools because my dad already had tools here, so you know I didn't need to go buy tools. Dad just told me he says just you know use the tools out of a toolbox. We don't have enough room here for another toolbox or anything, and just use the tools out of his toolbox, which I didn't buy very many tools back then. And what I did make here in the shop, I spent my money on what I wanted to spend it on. When I was a kid, I spent my money on baseball and football cards. So I've got a very big collection of ball cards. that I, I took my money and spent on that instead of buying tools. Now I come to when I started getting older and wanted to do more things with cars, I, I didn't still didn't buy tools. I went out and bought cars and fixed up cars. I bought a bunch of cars. So basically... Could I have afforded Snap-on tools or Mac tools or Corn Cornwell or whatnot? Yes, I could have afforded them tools back then. But the thing was, I wanted something different out of life. I wanted different things. I wanted to buy cars, fix them up, and sell them. So that's what I did. And therefore, when I started moving out on my own, there was this uh, thing going around the tool truck, these uh, tool truck sales was Cummins and Homeyer. So I bought a lot of their tools from the, that tool sales that goes around, you know, and I bought, I bought, I bought a bunch of them tools. I bought a bunch of sockets and and whatnot. Their ratchets was not very good. Their, their wrenches were not very good. So I didn't buy them tools. I bought basically, you know, destruction tools, you know. I didn't even really buy a set of their screwdrivers. I bought, you know, some of their click, cor click torque wrenches they, in, they ended up being no, not very good. I bought a set of uh, tap and die set from them. They were, that wasn't very good. You know, some of the tools were not very good tools. They were cheap tools. And I got rid of the junk and kept the better stuff. They did have some decent, you know, decent things. Now, it's just like with Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, you can get some good deals. You can get some good tools through Harbor Freight. Nothing against Harbor Freight tools. I, I've bought a few tools. Of their tools I don't have a whole lot I've actually got more snap-on ratchets than I do Pittsburgh I've only got I've only this is the only Pittsburgh ratchet I own right here it's the only one I've got and I, I grab it more than I do my snap-on so I mean it is what it is and to get back to uh, talk about my snap-on tools that I do have so I started working in a shop and doing uh, things. I I'd work. I had a job, and it was a factory job. And I ended up, my buddy needed help down in a in his in a garage that he was working at. So I went down there and worked for him. Well, the lady that ran the shop said, "Hey, you need to get some of your own tools. You know, you're work, you're using his tools, and I've got a toolbox down there. You use tools out of yada yada yada. You start needing." start getting some of your own tools. So she said, well, we'll do it easy. She says, we'll go on the tool truck, you pick out some tools, and you'll just I'll just take it out of your paycheck. So you won't miss it. So that's what I did. I you know, ended up, at the time I was living on my own, I had a girlfriend, I had a brand new truck at the time, and uh, I could afford, I didn't have rent to pay because where I was living at, I didn't have to pay rent. It was family. It was a family farm, so I didn't have to pay rent per se. 
I just had to take care of the property and I had a brand new truck. So I could afford to buy the snap-on tools back then. You know, I, I was able to do that back then. But then come time when what happened was my family, my grandpa ended up passing away and the family wanted to sell the land. So my dad ended up, when he sold the land, so I had to go find a place to live. So therefore, that's when I went out to look for a house. And that's when I bought the house over there where I'm at now. The place I have now, that's what I bought. So at that present moment in time, with me owning a brand new truck, uh, other bills I had to pay, and then on top of that, having a house payment now, I could not afford, my paycheck would not allow me to buy Snap-on Tools anymore. I, it, the pay just didn't, wasn't there. The check wasn't stretching far enough to allow me to buy any more Snap-on Tools. So therefore, I ended up, I had to end up having to go get another job. I worked in a, in a Whirlpool. I stopped working on cars and went to a factory job so I could have benefits and all this other type, type stuff and better pay. Well, with that better pay, I still was able, I was able to afford to keep my truck, make the house payments, and buy cheaper tools, which in that time I bought a bunch of craftsman tools. I bought a, craft, a set of craftsman tools, uh, an air compressor, and a toolbox through craftsman, put it on a Sears charge card, and paid it in installments that way. That's how I could afford to buy my tools at that time. I bought Craftsman. So that's where that came in the bout. Ended up losing my job there at Whirlpool. I worked there four years, I think it was. Ended up losing my truck. Well, I ended up trading my truck back in on an older truck that I could afford better because brand new truck, the payments were pretty high on it. And then I went and got a older truck well i ended up i had a ranger a brand new ranger and i wanted a full-size truck because when i was working over at the house you know in and out hauling stuff i needed a bigger truck so i went ended up getting a getting a 2000 f-150 that i was making payments on at that time so therefore that's how i could afford to buy cheaper tools that's all i could afford by then so that's where I want everybody to look at. You know, you gotta make you gotta make decisions in your life to where you can afford certain things in life. You know, if you guys out there want to, you can afford to buy the Snap-on tools, the Mac tools, the Cornwell tools. Go right ahead. You can afford them. Go for it. That's what you want. That's what you get. But in my case, I I I. Yes, I could afford the, the tool truck tools, but I chose to do other things. I chose to buy cars. I chose to buy vehicles to fix up and sell and yada, yada, yada. That's what I did. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to put my money towards tools. I wanted to put my money towards vehicles. That's why I've got a hoard of vehicles now. I put all my money into vehicles. Should I have bought the snap-on tools? Well, probably should have because then I probably wouldn't have all this mess of cars around here anymore that I have. I wouldn't have had the money to buy these cars. So that's that's what I chose in my life to do, was to buy vehicles instead of the more expensive tools. Now, I don't want to offend anybody and tell you guys that you you cannot buy Snap-on tools. Don't go buy them. No, I don't want you to do that. You do what you want to do. You buy what you want to buy. I'll buy what I want to buy. I'll buy cheap tools and do right with it. But in another sense, I don't want people out there saying that I'm no mechanic and I don't know what I'm doing because I own inferior tools. The tools don't make the mechanic. The person makes the mechanic. I don't want you guys, I don't want people out there saying, oh, you're no mechanic, you don't, you got cheap tools, blah, blah, blah. You get what you pay for. Uh, you don't know what you're doing. Well, the thing of it is, I, I know what I'm doing. I have a passion to working on cars. There's a difference. Anybody can turn a wrench. Anybody can work on a car. Not everybody can fix a car. I can fix a car with cheaper tools. So I'd, I'd like to like to, I'd like you guys to get the sense of where I'm coming from. You know, you, you buy your tools, you use them, whatever you can afford to do, 
And I chose in life to buy cars, buy a house, and buy other things instead of buying the tool truck tools. Which other guys, you know, you, you, all you probably can afford to buy is tool truck tools and nothing else. I don't know. I don't know how you guys, are, you know, finances are. But that's what I chose to do in my life. I chose to buy cheaper tools and use them the best of my ability and buy vehicles and do that. That's the route I took. Now, what I want to do now is I've been collecting up a few tools here in the last few years. As you may know, I did a tool haul on some Tecton tools I bought. I had almost $2,000 worth of Tecton tools that I purchased. And I also am working on another set of tools I've been working on, uh, getting collected up that I've been wanting to do some videos on. And I really want to put this out for you guys to show that there's more than just Harbor Freight. There's more than just Snap-on. There's a lot of different companies out there right now putting out tools. But this one particular company has been out there for quite a long time now. And I've been just, they've been around. My dad had a couple of their tools. And, uh, but the bad thing with it is, I know everybody's on a kick right now of buying American products. Buy American. Buy, you know, the next best thing to buy would be uh, German-made tools. Or, uh, what's the next step? Japan. Jap Japanese-made tools. And then the next step down is Taiwanese-made tools. So... And then you get into your Chinese made tools, which this company has a lot of Chinese tools, but they've been graduating making Taiwanese tools. They've got a good selection of Taiwanese tools. And uh, I want to put this out there. I don't, I've been trying to get enough of the tools collected up to where I can make a good video for you guys. I don't, I, I don't have the money to buy a whole lot of them. I wanted to make comparisons to like Harbor Freight's tools, what I'm buying of this company. And it's just, I don't, I don't have, I, you know, the position I'm in right now, I've got to keep the lights on. I got to fix this house. I got my house to fix. So my money is going to be going towards doing this stuff and not buying tools. I can't do to buy the tools right now, but I am working for my buddy. I do want to buy a toolbox. I can't necessarily really afford to buy a toolbox at the present moment. So I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm just going to keep on working out of his toolbox that, that worked there. I, I've told him that I want to get a toolbox. And then he knows, he knows my situation. He says, well, you can't afford to buy a toolbox right now. You got more important things that you got to you know, take care of right now. You can't get a toolbox. And I know that. I can't afford to buy a toolbox right now. But I want, I, want, I want to get this collection of tools brought to you guys. And I want to actually use the tools. I want to put them into a working environment. I want to show these tools in a professional setting and how they work. And that you don't have to have the more expensive tools to do your job in a professional setting. You can, you can buy the cheaper tools and then graduate up to buying the better tools if you have to. So that's kind of what I want to do. I want I want to get this these sets of tools uh, out. Uh, I'll make a mention to uh, what it is. It's performance tools. Performance tools has been around for a long time. They've been around longer than Harbor Freight. I don't think there's too many people out there buying performance tools and actually showing them. You, you go on the internet, you can't find too much about performance tools. So I've got a passion for the, their tools right now. And there's a couple reasons why, and I'll get to add them. I'll get to them reasons when I do videos on them. But for the most part, they're they they're mostly Chinese made tools, but they've been making some Taiwanese made tools that are very good tools. So I want to get these out there. I want to show them. Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll show them here real quick. Maybe I'll I'll take them. I've got boxes full of tools right now. Maybe I'll do that here real quick. I'll show you what I have. I don't want to show the tools per se. I want you guys to see what I have, and hopefully they, they I can do something with them. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go outside here, I'll get the tools out of the house, and I'll put them out here on the trailer and show you what I have. So I'll, I'll get them out, out here real quick. So there we go, everybody. These boxes contain 
everything but uh yeah everything uh, performance tools <laughs> it contains every all the performance tools i bought over the last few years so i'm if you want to say i'm probably two thousand dollars deep into these tools I've, I've got quite a few of their tools so that's what i've been wanting to do i've been wanting to make a video of these so uh i've got their socket sets i've got full board sockets all their sockets that they offer in chrome six point i've also got some impact set it's the only set i've got i've also got some some other sockets that i've been uh, getting a hold of right here's ratchets and extensions in this box there's more extensions there's my 24 inch long uh, uh, ratchets extensions there's a breaker bar uh, pry bars there this box contains the wrenches i've got all the wrenches in here this box here contains just other other tools other things a lot of different stuff lights and whatnot and this box here contains this box here has got screwdrivers there's their long screwdrivers and this is all nothing but screwdrivers screwdriver sets all the screwdrivers that they offer there's one there's more that they offer but that's the ones i've gotten so far and then this box contains pliers a whole bunch of pliers different pliers that they offer so uh yeah that's where i'm at with this guys so uh yeah uh i want to do I, i'll let you guys uh, decipher what, how i want to do this i've been wanting to like do individuals i want to start out with their sockets and the socket sets and kind of work my way do a do a video on the sockets then do a video on the ratchets and extensions and then do video on the you know do a video on each separate thing or do you guys want to see them all at once I've been calculating everything up that I've got, what I've got cost-wise in everything. I've been trying to make a list of what I've got into everything. But that's what I want to do, guys. I just, I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. I've been collecting this. I've had that. This this was actually the first kit I bought to run in my Durango when I was going out to the house. That's the first kit I bought right there. So I wanted to show it. But I didn't want to show it until I got more of their sockets. This is a, this is the complete their chrome socket set right here. I you know worked on it, sock you know a few sets at a time that I could afford to get, and just just the rest of it. So that's what I want to do, guys. I want to show you guys these tools. I want to put them actually put them to work. I want to go over to my buddy's place. I want to set up a toolbox and set it up with all performance tools and put them to work. So I'll let you guys decipher how you want to see them. I uh, really appreciate it. I like the comments you guys gave me on the last video, my rant video. So, yeah, guys, tell me what, how you want to see this. Do you want to see them all at once and let me do separate videos on each one? Or do you want me to do separate videos on each, you know, kind of tool? And then do one complete at the end, showing them all? Or how do you want me to do it? Just, just give me some ideas of how to do it, guys. So, thank you very much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll get back with you later. See you in the next one. Thanks for always watching.